we are back with another game to try out. The game is called Don't Bite Me Bro. It's a, it's a one to four player couch co-op, the zombie apocalypse game. I do pretty much like a stereotypical zombie apocalypse game. You explore the world for resources, you find and save survivors throughout the world. Each which becomes a playable character, has unique traits and abilities, and you can you enter randomly generated dungeons as you build, upgrade, defend your home from constant waves of zombies. So if you are familiar with Seven Days to Die, it's like that, except a lot more simplistic graphics. And you'll see what I mean when we play. Let's start her up. We're gonna go with medium. And when you first load up the game, it does a little pan over, shows the world as it used to be before the horrific event happens. I'm not sure, you know, what exactly that's supposed to be. I don't know, it's supposed to be a, an alien rocket or something like that, but it, uh, it's, it's different. And it's going to speed towards Cube Earth. <laughs> and that's apparently everyone freaking out. And it lands and shoots little germ balls to, to everywhere. The hospital, the church, and a cave. And now there's zombies everywhere. Oh, hell no! And I think that's me speeding off in my pickup truck. Hitting a zombie along the way. And not hurting him. Alright, and when you start the game, well, I mean, you get to select what character you are. Um, but we'll follow this... Uh, this helpful gentleman, jeez, that's a big bone. <laughs> it's glad to see someone, someone made it. I've been living off the land before this happened, before all this happened. My camp is up ahead. All right, damn it, they got through again. And, okay, welcome to my camp. All right, and we get to select since I haven't uh, unlocked anyone yet. Uh, you just get to pick different color setups and that's it, but it's the same character and you can see all the silhouettes of the other characters we can rescue and unlock later. But I'm gonna go with this guy. Ah, sure, we'll go through a tutorial. Why not? Oh no, the dead ones. And tutorial goes through and it, you know, lists all the uh, all the keys that you, you know, all the key bindings and everything. But oh, pick up the wood because that seems helpful. Even though we're not supposed to be doing it. Right Surprise, now. mother! Zombie, die! Oh, pick up a zombie bone. And we're gonna kill these zombies till it tells us that we're done. Or not. That's a lot of wood. <laughs> and I have to collect wood. This is a definitely an interesting way to, to collect wood. Hit it with a club and it'll turn into nice little planks of wood. I'm an overachiever so I'm going to take more wood than I actually need. Is this the apocalypse? I don't know if there's a limit to how much wood you can actually gather, but 
Yeah, there is. Holy cow. Okay, well, I guess I'll have to come back for that. Yeah, store the wood at the house for safekeeping. Alright, I got it. Shift is build. Oh, we're gonna collect some more wood. Oh man, half of it disappeared. So I get from being greedy. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's hold the build button and navigate to the wall. Build button is shift. And use the WSD keys to move to wall. Spacebar. Place it. And there we go. Same thing here. Place it. And the same thing here. Place it. Alright. Build four spikes anywhere around the camp. This looks. Let's see. Spikes. Um, we'll go. One there. One there. there. I don't think I can walk into these, so we'll be, there you go, we'll build, we'll build five, because why not, I can upgrade some walls now, alright, jeez, so we're going to miss there, guy, alright, I think this guy's gonna pester me till I go and upgrade the walls. <laughs> I'm gathering wood, man. Leave me alone. All right, let's upgrade some walls. Ooh, uh, pretty wall. And I can't. Nope. Get there. Okay. At least I can't get hit by the spikes. That's good. Yeah. Let's upgrade that. Upgrade. Oop. No, I don't want to destroy it. Why will it not let me put it there? That is really weird. Alright, well I guess I have to put it there. <laughs> like I said, this is a, a fairly inexpensive game, so sometimes the... Uh, it has a little bit of bugs every now and then, and they show. So, uh, this game is going for a dollar on Steam, which is pretty freaking cheap, I think, for at least for this game. Like, I don't expect it to be a, a, a super polished masterpiece, but I mean, f for a dollar, this is it's a pretty nice game. And I believe it was. I think it was on sale not too long ago. For like half off. Which 50 cents for a game is. That's a, that's a pretty good deal. Like I said, I'm just going to sit here and annoy the crap out of this guy and harvest all the wood here. I think I can, yeah, I can harvest the stone too. That all goes into like the harvest pool. Which, if you look, um, see, it says he has a symbol for like metal, maybe, and then like wood. But this guy's not gonna leave us alone until we. Oh, super upgrade that wall. <laughs> dude, dude. Alright, done upgrading. Let's get something to eat. And let's learn how to shoot here. Oop, okay. All right. That one was kind of easy. <laughs> it's a little close. <laughs> ah, hard one's coming. All right. Ooh, that's quick. I'll show you like a little symbol of hard one going. Now it should be at the house. Let's tell you, so it's very similar to Seven Days, where you know it's harvesting stuff, upgrading stuff, and uh, 
Yeah, okay, you can't build apparently. Well, the ow. All right, we're clear. Now I got a second horde coming. That's a flaw in the game, and it won't let you go outside the smoke circle there because it's a tutorial. I saw a weird shape fly north of here. When when the thing landed, maybe you can stop all the. Oh, well, okay. All right. So be careful out there. They can be anywhere. All right. You see the map? This is where I am. It's a pretty big map if you think about it. And that's where our base is. That's where an orb is. Okay, so that was like the... Was that the cave? And that was the church? No, cemetery? Yeah, church. And then that was the, the hospital, I'm, I think. And the monolith is... Yeah, there. There's my vehicle. There's me, and there's home. All right. Well, that's pretty good. All right, just hit the bins to empty them. Oh, here comes all this food flying out. Cool. I think that bar is, that bar is my health, that bar is my ammo, and that bar is my, like, my stamina? Oh, look at that. Breaking it. Breaking the metal off of it. Okay. Hit E. Oh, God. Ooh. Oh, no. My buddy. He's dead. And apparently DLC items available when you pause the menu. Yeah, I don't care about your... Do I have to learn about it? Oh, okay. Alright, go away. Alright, I think that... Maybe that... I think that was the end of the tutorial here. Um, yeah, like I said, this, this game itself is pretty interesting. It's uh, fairly entertaining, and I mean, it said there's a, a lot of gameplay, and there's DLC, so you, know, you can uh, you can do a lot of things with it. But if you liked what you saw, hit the like button down below. You can also subscribe and tell your friends about it. And uh, if you want to see me play more of this, just leave comments and, and let me know that you enjoyed it. And uh, I will see you all in my next video. Have a nice day.